This loaf came about because of a lack of good sourdough French bread recipes on the internet. I wanted to create a delicious loaf of sourdough French bread, but a Google search brought up no reliable recipes that didn't call for commercial yeast. So I decided to write my own recipe. It turned out beautifully the first time and I've been making it ever since. So if you're ready to have your kitchen filled with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly baked sourdough French bread, then let's get to it. First, let's go over the ingredients that you'll need. One cup or 250 grams of water, one cup or 240 grams of active sourdough starter. Important note, I keep my sourdough starter at 100% hydration, which means I feed it equal weights, not volumes of flour and water. And for this recipe, you'll want to use an active sourdough starter. An active starter is one that has been fed four to 12 hours previously, is active and bubbly, and passes the float test. If you don't have a sourdough starter of your own just yet, then make sure to check out my how to make a sourdough starter from scratch video. It's got everything you need to get going. Or if your sourdough starter is not behaving itself, then you can check out my sourdough starter troubleshooting post, which is linked below. Okay, you'll also need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of raw honey or cane sugar, two teaspoons of unrefined sea salt, two tablespoons of olive oil or 18 grams. And you'll also want some extra olive oil for your work surface. Place all of the dough ingredients in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with a dough hook. Now knead for 15 minutes on medium-low speed. I usually set my mixer to a 2 out of a 10. The key to soft sourdough French bread is to get the hydration of the dough right. You want it to be really soft and almost tacky. Definitely lean more towards a wet dough than a dry dough. You can adjust the hydration of your dough by either adding flour or water. Place in a well-oiled bowl and allow to rise at room temperature until doubled about 8 to 12 hours. Now the amount of time that it takes for your dough to ferment will vary greatly depending on how warm your kitchen is and how active your sourdough starter is. Your kitchen and your starter are individuals, so you'll just have to get a feel for how long it takes for bread to rise in your kitchen. You can always perform the poke test if you're unsure if your bread is done fermenting. To perform the poke test, gently poke your finger into the dough. If it slowly springs back and doesn't quite fill in, then it's done fermenting. If it springs back really quickly and completely fills in, then it's not done fermenting yet. And if it doesn't spring back at all, it's most likely over Approved, and you need to continue on to the next step as soon as possible. Okay, now it's time to shape the French loaf. Grease your work surface. Plop the dough out onto the work surface. Working with greased hands, form the dough. Grab the top edge of the dough, stretch it upwards, and fold it over to the middle of the dough. Using the side of your hand, press the edge of the fold in place. Grab the close edge of the dough, stretch it out, and fold it over the middle of the dough. Using the side of your hand, again, press the edge of the fold in place. Repeat with the left edge of the dough, and repeat with the right edge of the dough as well. Repeat once more with the top and bottom edges. Pinch the seam to seal it. Flip the dough over and use your hands to stretch the dough under itself to build more surface tension. Pinch the ends of the dough to seal and carefully place on a parchment lined baking sheet. Cover with a tea towel and leave in a warm spot to double. This can take anywhere from four to eight hours. After it's done fermenting, score the dough with a razor blade, lamb, or serrated knife. Bake in a 450 degree Fahrenheit oven until deep golden, about 25 to 30 minutes. Allow your beautiful loaf of sourdough French bread to cool completely, or as completely as you can, on a wire cooling rack. Then it's safe to slice it up. I like to slice it on the bias. Somehow it makes me feel fancy. Now, if you've never given it a try, then I highly recommend dipping your French bread in some olive oil that's been drizzled with a bit of balsamic vinegar and salt. It's such a lovely flavor combo. What's your favorite way to eat French bread? Now, if you're looking for another amazing sourdough bread recipe, then make sure to check out this video next.